Hi guys, welcome to chapter, I'm sorry, fifth grade, chapter five, lesson five. We're going to go ahead and get started with number two. For our purposes, we are not going to be using the models that they show. So we're not going to be using these models. We are going to be doing the math, and we'll show you how to do that. So we're going to start with number two. And the biggest thing that you need to know about dividing the decimals is that you cannot have a decimal outside of the box. So if I were to write this, Okay, if I were to write it correctly, okay, well, I have a decimal right here outside the box and a decimal inside the box. Okay, I cannot have a decimal outside the box. No, it doesn't matter if there's a decimal inside the box, I just can't have one outside. Okay, so I need to move that decimal one, two times, which means I need to move the one inside the box one, two times. Now my decimal is here and I can move it up. Okay, you see that? Okay, so now I have six outside and 36 inside. Well, six goes into 36 six times, which is 36, subtract and get zero. Okay, so just move the decimal from outside the box to in, or you can't have a decimal outside the box. So move it and then move the one inside the box. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll do number three together. Okay, so. 0.7, I'm going to have to move that one time, so I'm going to have to move this one one time. So now it's going to be 7 into 28, okay? Well, 7 goes into 28 four times. There you go. That one was 6, okay? So now we're going to have to move this one, sorry, two times. So now I have to move this one two times, okay? So now I'm going to have 5 into 40. Okay, well, 5 goes into 40 eight times. There we go. Okay. You guys probably should finish those out and show your work, okay? All right. So you guys are going to do 5 through 8. Okay. We are going to go down and go ahead and do number 9 together, okay? So it says Keisha buys 2.4 kilograms of rice. She separates the rice into packages that contain 0.4 kilograms of rice each. How many packages of rice can Keisha make? So I would have to move this one one time and this one one time. So now we're going to have 4 into 24. Well, 4 goes into 24 six times, which is 24. Subtract and get 0. So that will be 6 packages. Okay, same thing here, 0.2, got to move it once, got to move it once. So now I'm going to have 2 into 42, okay? So Luton is making cloth headband. She has 4.2 yards of cloth. She uses 0.2 yards of cloth for each headband. How many headbands can Luton make from the length of cloth that she has? So 2 will go into 4 twice, 4, subtract, bring down our 2. 2 will go into 2 once. That is two, subtract and get zero. So we're going to be able to make 21 headbands. Okay. All right. We're going to go into the back. Okay. You do not have to do number one if you are one of our kids. Okay. Okay. Number two, you guys are going to go ahead and do that on your own, okay? We are going to do spiral review together, okay? What property does the following equation show? Well, we do have the same three numbers. We have five, seven, and nine on both sides, but those numbers moved around, okay? When numbers move, it's just like when you go to school or when your parents go to work, you're commuting. So it is the commutative property. And you have to write of addition or multiplication. And since they're adding, we're going to put addition. Okay. All right. An auditorium has 25 rows with 45 seats in each row. How many seats are there in all? Well, I'm going to put 45 and I'm going to multiply that by the 25 and see what I get. Okay. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry that 2. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 2 more is 22. 
Okay, so now I'm going to tick, tack, and toe. Two times five is 10, carry the one. Two times four is eight, plus one is nine. So add those up. I'm gonna get five, two, 11. So, sorry, I wound up doing that crooked as I tend to do because I'm trying to write straight for you guys. 1,125 feet, okay? Okay. Volunteers at an animal shelter divided 132 pounds of dry dog food equally into 16 bags. How many pounds of dog food did they put in each bag? Well, if you're like me, you probably don't know your multiples of 16. So we're going to go ahead and use our calculator just to find multiples. We're not doing it to find to do the work. And I know it about that far. 64. 80. 96. 112, and hopefully I don't have to go past that too much, okay? So we are going to put 132 inside the box and 16 outside the box. Oh, it looks like we are going to have to go a little bit further. 128. 144. Okay, so now, okay. We are going to, how many pounds of dog food they put in each bag? We're going to find out right now, okay? So, 16 is not going to go into 1. It's not going to go into 13, okay? 132, though, it looks like 128 is going to be about as close as we can get, okay? So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. 8 times 16 is 128. When I subtract, I would get 4. I'm going to put a decimal, put a decimal put a zero, okay? I'm gonna make this a little bit longer so that we can fill that out, okay? Now, four is less than 16, so I can bring down that zero, okay? Now, 16 is gonna go into 40 twice for 32. I subtract, I get eight, okay? Eight is smaller than 16, so I'm gonna add one more zero, bring it down, 80. Well, there's 80 right there. One, two, three, four, five times. That is 80. We subtract, we get zero. So 8.25 pounds being measured in pounds. Okay. Okay. Make sure you're writing down your work. Okay. At the movies, Aaron buys popcorn for $5.25 and a bottle of water for $2.50. He pays with a $10 bill. How much change will he receive? Well, first, you need to know how much money Aaron spent. So 5.25 and 2.50. We're going to add those up. Okay. Then we're going to take that $10 and we're going to subtract whatever it was that he spent. Okay. So 5. Oh, we're going to drop that decimal first, and then 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 5 is 7, and 5 plus 2 is still 7. So now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to write 7.75, making sure I line up my decimals. Okay. Now, all those zeros can't take away anything here. So I'm going to come all the way over here, make that a 0. That makes that a 10. Okay. But I need to borrow one of those, making it a 9, so I can make that a 10. Then I need to do that one more time, borrow one, make that a nine, make that a 10, okay? So now 10 take away five is five. I'm gonna drop that decimal. Nine minus seven is two. Nine minus seven again, two. So $2.25, okay? All right, guys, not so bad, all right? Thanks for hanging out for 5.5. Come on back for 5.6. See you soon.